So this will be part eight of our fleet management complete application design. We have HR model, but when we go to fleet module, you see it doesn't work. So we're gonna set up the controllers at this point. And remember to subscribe to my channel if this has been informative and also leave me a comment to let me know where you may have any challenges whatsoever. So let's go set up the controllers at this point. So I'm going to uh, SRC main Java and go to application controller. So basically as a smart programmer, it's also very good to do copy and paste. So I'm going to copy and paste this guy here into five places and then change all the names. So I'm going to one, two, three, four, five. All right, so we have HR, the second one is going to be fleet. So permit me to just use this one, so replace this. Uh, so it's going to be fleet here. And the name here is going to be fleet. Permit me to also change the name to HR, so everything is going to be uniform. Um, so the second, the, the following one is help desk. And I'm going to also copy it from here and paste it here. Help desk here and paste it here as well. Maybe I'm just going to make some room. So this uh, this is going to be a bit readable. So let me just shift this guy upwards and this one downwards. Shift, shift. All right. So the next one should be the accounts. So let's call it accounts here. Accounts. And I'm going to just copy it and paste. So you can see that everything is moving so smoothly for now. And I want us to build this application easily. I just want to uh, make sure it's broken down to the simplest way possible to build an application. So let me just do this. And we have the payroll, payroll. And in this case, I'm simply going to type it out, payroll. If I'm too slow or too fast, please do let me know. Uh, um, because this is actually a beginner series, beginner to advance. So I just want to combine everything to make it super easy. And this is going to be parameters. Do we use parameters or settings? Let's use parameters. And this is going to be, let me just copy and paste. Let me copy and paste. And I'm going to paste here as well. Um, so, yeah, so we have everything set up. So I'm going to stop this application from running and let's go test to see if everything works. I'm going to go to my file, save all, and I'm going to run this application now. And let's just check if it works. So this, you can see Tomcat started at port 8080 and I'm going to go to this place. I'm going to refresh and you can see, welcome to fleet. Let me go back to HR, welcome to HR and accounts welcome to accounts department and let's do parameters parameters welcome to the settings page and so on to so help desk maybe all right so we have set up basically all the modules or the department of this application so in the next part now we are now going to set up the navigation because in this navigation we need to be able to have Instead of having forms, we have HR, and we drop down the HR, we now have add new employee, uh, view employee details, and here we may have a second one, maybe you have um, a different department, maybe payroll, we want to add, create new pay level. So this is what we want to set up at the sidebar, we want to have access to all the departments here in the sidebar, and this is what we are going to be doing in the next part. Meanwhile, the dashboard, will always, uh, should always lead us to the home page, to the, I mean, to the general home page, which is the index. And this is what we call the dashboard. So in the next part, we now work on setting up the navigation of this application. So I'm going to be stopping here. Remember to subscribe. Remember also to like this video and share it around. And let me know also if you have any challenges whatsoever following my lessons. I remain kind on the Tech Pro and I'm always there for you.